like a yes to me. Okay. Let's open a meeting. And, uh, I, didn't bring, I didn't bring my tablet tonight, seven, so it's not uh, Seventeen. We'll do it like fun. Like That's right. You want me to make it in ten? That's all right. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. All right, does everyone know Michael is going to do the cemetery budget tonight? Town clerk, you're also going to do the cemetery for us, right? I'm going to do the cemetery. Okay, you're on. Do we want to hit up the snow and ice first so we can let no, that go? No, we'll start with Mike first. <clears throat> All right, Mike, what's up? Uh, nothing. Okay, I'm going to go over your budget. Pretty much the same as last year. Yeah, a little bit different. As that goes. Who do you get down there working? Who's uh, Jim Milner? How many hours is he working on a, a weekly basis, I should say? Well, you know, it varies. Um, sometimes it's uh, 30, sometimes it's 40, sometimes it's 25, you know? Every week? Yeah. You don't know one of them? No. No. Just what it's needed. Just seasonal, yeah. yeah. April through uh, November, and then when there's burials. Okay. He comes in then. Yeah. April through November? Okay. Yeah. And that's what the cemetery wages are mostly for? Uh-huh. 16,000, tree 16? Okay. But sometimes we throw on a laborer before Memorial Day, who we call it a casual laborer, that also helps. And that comes out of the 16,000? Yeah. How about Memorial Day? Same thing, you have an extra person that comes in? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about primarily. And one of the commissioners <clears throat> are allowed to help and get paid too. And that all comes out of the 16. That's right. Okay. Uh -huh. And the superintendent gets, okay, 4,772. Yeah. Uh -huh. And what's the cemetery expenses? What's all that? What's that all? What's that entail? What's well, that those encompass? printouts, uh, if you look at the printouts, it gives you a pretty all good that? description of what we spend our money on. Okay, and that all comes out of that. Okay. Yeah. And there's also a $1,500 cemetery improvement fund, too. Oh. And what we spend on that, right? What? On opening the graves, what does that money go transfer to? The grave openings go into uh, the general fund. General fund. Uh -huh. Now, the sale of lots, that's different. When we get a sale of a lot, yeah. say we sell a, a four lot, that's $1,600. A good amount of that goes into what's known as perpetual care. Yeah. The remaining balance goes into the general fund. Yeah. <clears throat> so one lot's four hundred dollars, right? So out of that one lot, three hundred and fifty dollars goes into cemetery perpetual care, and fifty dollars goes into the general fund. Okay. And it's, going what? Up, it's going up a lot. What? It's going up a lot. Yeah. I bought in '67. Well, it was a different time then, wasn't it? Well, Gas was paid, only <laughs> yeah. $25 for eight. So a four lot is what, Mike? $1,600. And 150 petrol care. Yeah. Yep. So is all, so what's that money being used for, the petrol care? Is that for? That's used for big projects. Like, uh, I guess about 10 years ago, we took that entire new grave area. It's out in Ruggles Field. Yeah. It's open. <clears throat> Well, we were afraid a lot of that was a ledge, so we had that graded and re-loamed and seeded, and so we used that kind of thing for the project. 
we've spent a lot of that money in the last several years. I mean, we were up quite a bit. Um, our expendable balance that's left in that perpetual care is $18,449. So we try to let that build up. Right, yeah, okay. And you're only allowed to spend a certain amount of that. That's the expendable amount that we're eligible to spend right now. Yep. Some of that money was also used on the gate, which uh, the matching the funds for the grant register. And did we get some grants for that yes, too? We did. Yeah, it was, uh -huh. I think we had to match some of. We it. had that was matching that a restoration grant. Or a purchase. Pardon? Was the gate a restoration of existing or it was, was it a purchase? restoration? Yeah. And a masonry end of the gate, right? Uh -huh. <clears throat> What if you have to expand that cemetery and you needed more land, where would that money come from? Out of this perpetual care, which is nothing. Yeah, it'd have to be raised and appropriated by the town. Uh-huh. But we have a place now that we're looking at. Oh, you do? Okay. That the town already owns. Okay. Of course, it's already a burial ground, but... Don't tell me you're talking in the campground. Of course. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Okay. That would, uh, all right. You know what Well, after so many years, you know, uh, that becomes. Uh, you, know, you, really, you, you really that. think that's, <laughs> yeah. You really think that's <laughs> Indian burial ground? No, I don't know. It's a possibility. Okay, well, well, who knows? You know. That perpetual care, you can take some of the principal? You can't take the principal, you can only take the interest. Yeah, uh -huh. so, yeah. so what we have in that interest is what I told is a 18,500 18, thereabouts. And how much is in, in the other principal account? 100, 131,000. Okay. That's all? Yeah. This never been used, the principal? No, it can't be. No, I didn't think so. I think that's the way it was explained to me when I bought it. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Mm -hmm. What cemetery improvement? What do you what do you do with that? What's that's that's used primarily for uh, like the repair of stones, monuments. Um, okay. <coughs> do you, does they ever do any cleaning of stones? Yeah, yeah, that so happens that quite a bit. Right? That happens quite a bit. We got a, a set. Uh, what do you call that thing you use to spray houses with? Uh, power washer. Power, power washer. washer, yeah. We got one of those. We use it, but you know, the, the historical part? committee comes down uh, and does training sessions with people, and uh, yeah. they, they use those. And you got to have a certain knack for it and do it right. Ron Kutcher looks at that kind of thing. And yeah. Make sure it's done. Well, it's at least it's being done. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. good. That's real good. Yeah. Who who keeps it plowed down here in the winter time? Uh, the highway department. Uh -huh. The main roads, just the main roads, are all of them. No, just the main, the main roads, okay. and more like when we have a burial, they'll open it up. You know, we don't keep it open all the time. We did for a while, but this year was a busy year. Well, so whenever we had a grave, we said, "Hey, can you come down?" And of course, they were very helpful. You got a lot of sunken graves down there. We got a few. We just filled a couple in the other day. Um, what happens? We did some winter graves, and those were tough because we've got to put the cooker on the soil. We're one of the only cemeteries around that will uh, that good. will open in the winter. Yeah. So when that happens, uh, we've got to heat the ground up for 24 hours. 24? That's what we do, yeah. yeah. Then we dig, and then we throw all the soil back on, and sometimes it sinks. One of them sunk pretty low, and we were getting worried. Because it's all gotta, frosted chunks, right? We got, yeah, because we got it filled back in, but fortunately, uh, Everything defrosted a bit. It'll settle soon. Yeah. Yeah. But there's other sunken graves too that uh, have they need some attention. When they put the stones in, now do they put a solid base under them, or they don't bother? Oh no, the big stones all have a solid base. But we That's hire that lot. out. We don't do that. Yeah. We hire Pep and Granite to do that. <coughs> you know, better to have them do it. Yeah, it is. Well, they can. They know what they're doing, right? That's right. Okay. 
the three commissioners they get do they get any kind of stipends if they choose to do some work this is a town bylaw which gives them the ability to earn money at a wage of like a 10 12 dollars an hour yeah okay who's that again cemetery commissioner mm -hmm. and emory <coughs> did some work last year okay so you you're pretty good with this figure okay. yeah we haven't changed it in years we used to get eight thousand dollars in the expense account but we reduced that because we used to have to hire out uh, to have our graves dug but uh, highway the highway department has been out. very helpful when herb took over he volunteered to help us out and comes and digs the graves for us so that's a real big help what happened to the tractor that we uh, we bought the we use it just can it dig graves it can but we don't use it too often to dig graves. It's real time consuming. The bucket's real small. However, we use it to fill them in. You do? Okay. Absolutely. Because I remember when we when you wanted to buy that before the town, everybody asked if you were going to be doing graves with that. Yeah. <clears throat> and the answer was yes. Yeah, and we have. So you use it for the on the back side of it then. Yeah. They dig and then you fill in. Yeah. That's what the highway department does. Right. Because it saves us a lot of time. Right. We get the whole burial done in an hour, whereas if we were to use that backhoe, it's about three hours to dig. It's a small machine. It's real helpful, but you know, going back in the day, I used to dig those graves by hand. In fact, I was the last guy to ever dig a grave in Brookfield by hand. That's yeah. the day I quit. I was, was going to say, when I was in high school, I had a friend that dug, that, that dug graves, and he wasn't doing it by hand, and that was um, that was late 80s. So. Yep. <laughs> Yep, we were doing it in the 80s by hand. And we pile all that dirt up. I look at that now and I say, boy, I sure was dumb. Well, you can't we get, did it. You can't and and the only reason we did it so well is because it's such sandy soil down there. Yeah. But you're in soil now, it's a little tougher, right? Oh, yep. Of course, we're in some, running into some water now, too, which isn't always fun. Oh, yeah? You don't like anybody to have to do the backstroke. Well, where I came, where I came from, they had to pump the graves out. Well, we pumped a couple, but we won't get that uh, graphic here on TV. Okay. All right. Anyone else have any questions on the expenses or anything? No. Everybody else is uh, doing a good job here. Yeah. Okay. Thank you all. Have right. a good night. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Thanks for coming Mike. in. Sorry for being such a non conformist. <laughs> <laughs>
And then I think uh, Steve is out in the uh, main room of the police station. Right? Yeah. Has everybody seen the transfers? They want some transfers tonight. I gave copies to everybody. Everybody got a copy? Okay. Amongst all. Okay. Yeah, oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can sit right over here if you want. I'm more inundated you know, paper. Uh, everyone's trying to say, how are you? I'm here. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. That's about Good evening. It. Before we start, do you think about the um, deficit spending for some of us? We are going to get tonight. Tonight we are, yeah. They look like they were 23 something in the world. Is that, is that, is that right, Beth? I think 23. Uh, well, the past what we did, it looks like they're about 22. 20, right, right. Yeah. Is that what am I reading that right? Well, that's what the voucher is that's attached. Yeah. Plus there was a, a $714 payroll and they were about $1,000 off of what we had already mm -hmm. voted it to. So, okay. so it's about, yeah, so that'd be 24, 23, about 23 over. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so we're going to, we're going to vote, we're going to vote something. Do you have something for us? Now? On the snow and ice? Yes. You put all the copies that I put in your box, right? Yes. They're right there. They're off this nice copy. Everybody got a copy of the select budget? It should say general government on the top of it. Line 10, 20. Yes. What do you have? What do I have on what? Any questions? Oh yeah, we got a lot of. Shoot. Do you want to do the uh, reserve fund first, everybody? We can do the. You guys want the reserve fund, right? All in regards to. Yeah. So the yeah, the first ahead. question I had was that. Um, Where's my reserve? Fund? On the res on the request for transfer from the reserve fund, you requested. $2,100 to municipal property maintenance, and yet the justification was to pay bills for National Grid. What? Why would any money to National Grid be coming out of the maintenance? Because some of it does, and that's what I talked to Betty. Betty actually has a, a rundown I can show you. She um, the ledger for us. So, on the municipal property maintenance. It's a, only, only one copy. Oh, that's a lot. We, we just got that. We got that right here. Is that right here? Is that the one you're looking at? No. That's, no that's this is just copy. something that Betty attached. Okay. I didn't make copies. I didn't know if you'd need it. I just had it as backup. So which account comes out of... Uh, of uh, we have municipal fuel. That's where the oil and, and, um, and the gas comes out of. And then we have um, the property, municipal property maintenance. I'm, I'm not sure because I don't have it in front of me, but I know that, well, you can see it's all right there. No, I understand that we're paying National Grid out of the account. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to understand why that wouldn't be coming out of a expense account instead of out of municipal well, property. That's how payments. it was set up. I have no idea. I'd have to ask Betty. That, that's what I would request this evening as well, is that each department have their own separate line item like that so we can itemize exactly what's coming out. Because right now all the bills come to the selectman's office and they're actually not getting paid on time as well because they're not being submitted on time. Not all of them, but not all some, of them. Like, no, but some of them. And like it, it's, it's reoccurring. It's not just one or two situations. It's yeah. it's yearly. So which so the ones that are not coming out of their own budgets, we we can make a line item for. I, them. I would recommend that. I know the water has their own uh, electric line. The highway doesn't. And the transfer it. station does too. About the highway, they must have their own. That's one of the issues that we have. Oh. I pay the account. oil for the huh? fire and I pay the um, cable for the highway. Uh, cable for the highway, cable for the public access. Yeah, there are several bills that for some reason come across this desk well, that are from other departments. Well, I'm not sure why. I thought they, should, I thought they were separate. Why. Well, yeah, they're separate bills, but they have, but I have to pay them. Like, for instance, when I get a gas bill, which is paid through National Grid 
for the highway. I have to pay that. It's coming out of our budget. Right, but that's so it's coming out of your budget. But, but you see, out of that gas, out of gas, gas has a consolidated account that was actually a recommendation I think back in Beverly Lund's time to consolidate municipal diesel, municipal gas, and I municipal heating oil. But what so about the, the electric? The electric should. They, they have individual accounts and yeah, and we're pay, accounts. We're, yeah we're paying the yeah the only national group we're paying are the gas but we're paying the street lights and whatnot but it's but we are paying the cable for the highway for the um i'm not sure about the fire i think so and for the uh, cable access there are several bills that for some reason come across my desk or didn't have to be paid to this office in the library the gas of course what about electric bills? You, the highway has your own. Um, yeah, they have their own <clears throat> electric, the regular electric. Okay. Bills. Mm -hmm. So you uh, you requested more electric tonight. We're requesting more electric, and well, when she you has say electric, electric, does that mean gas or you mean electric? I mean electric okay. because the gas is coming out of municipal fuel. But she has <clears> the ledger if you want to take a look at it. Basically, I mean, it, at home, I know my national grid bills doubled. Yeah. So I mean, we're attributing it to. Um, National Grid and some other things and like I said it's right in front of you everything that's been paid out of that account so you can really take a look at it if you want. Yeah. Well where does the solar right. come into this to help the town? <clears throat> well I'm not real familiar with the solar yet so I can't help you with that but we are getting a break because of the solar. So it, See, it, a, it, it, it does help the town the problem is is that it's it it's programmed to only generate as much they just went through the contract like a couple weeks ago when, when Bruce Clark got a hold of it. And the way it works is that first of all, it only helps some of the accounts because there's something that we submit on an annual basis called a Schedule Z, I think it is. And we list on that Schedule Z which accounts are going to get the benefit of the credits that are generated in the solar farm. Okay. Um, the way that it works is that whatever Washington gas and electric generates at the solar farm we pay a set rate according to that contract which currently is about half of what the national grid rate is um, but if there's you know if uh, it's a, if they generate low for some reason like for instance, when we had all the snow cover we weren't getting <coughs> great generation okay then we're not going to get as much benefit and for the accounts that aren't on that Schedule Z, they don't get the benefit of those credits, so they're paying market rate on the electricity. So overall, the town is getting that money back, but certain accounts are getting a lot of benefit and certain accounts are getting hardly in, aren't getting any benefit at all. Because of the credits? Well, what yeah, credits? because of how we file that form. So if, if someone wanted to take a look at it in more detail and decide either to list all the accounts or to... Um, go ahead and just decide you know we're, we're going to take the bite in these certain accounts and budget towards it and, and that's what we would need to do i'm just i'm just not understanding why any electric bill would come out of municipal property maintenance because we've had in the past you know um the accountant say no to paying you know for things that they that they felt were not appropriate for that account and i'm trying to understand why any type of utility bill would be considered okay out of town hall maintenance? Well, that was set up, and when I, <coughs> when I, you know, took the seat in there, that's where they told me to pay it out of. And Betty, you know, she doesn't pay anything if it doesn't. It, it has to be in the correct account. No, I understand or she won't that. Pay so, it. so I'm kind of, I'm just kind of curious as to, to ask her. as to to what makes that something that's okay to pay out of town hall maintenance. Should have a separate line for it. I think it's so just coming out of there. Well, the, well, normally it would come out of like, you know, if it's if it's a, if it's a town hall expense, it should be probably programmed into selectman expenses. Not out of a maintenance stuff, no. Well, no, but for <coughs> electricity, but not yeah. out of maintenance. Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, if that's where we're paying it, that's where we're paying. Is that where it, it comes out of the municipal property maintenance? That's where the electricity comes out well, of. It comes out of the several other accounts, and quite honestly, when when I make out the bill, I have the account numbers. Yep. I don't always match them up. I just go by the account numbers so they're correct. I don't always go and look exactly what it is, but like I said, maybe you should look at that sheet. Yeah. Another thing too, I might want to tell you, um, we were spending a lot of money on Calco and a lot of because we had to buy by the case all the time, and luckily the uh, new custodian, thanks to Dollar General, 
we are saving a lot of money because you can get down and buy in smaller quantities. If you see, there are pretty few large Kelco items on that because um, a couple of things he had to buy there now that well, Dollar General isn't in business, but even when they were, he had to go down there for case items because we couldn't find anybody around here that sold it, so we'd have to buy it by the case. But that was more of a problem before, but I will tell you that we're going to be saving money in that account because he mm -hmm. has the ability to go down to Dollar General and doesn't have to buy in big quantities. So. Well, is the, is the unit price still comparable or are we going to be paying more over time? Well, the thing is, is uh, well, quite honestly, if you can buy an off-brand, mm -hmm. Calco only sells the, okay. the name brands, it's a huge savings and he has some items there that have been hit there for over a year. Things that mm -hmm. just don't get used. Yep. Beth, what's the sand here? You get a copy of the meal? I'm gonna get can you do that? I'm gonna make a copy of that. Of which? What camera the wedge? Yeah, please. Just yeah, it doesn't huh? a lot the of that a lot of the yeah. this just doesn't make sense that it's going in town hall maintenance or municipal property maintenance. If you wanna give me those, I'll make some copies. Okay. I'll do this one too for you. No, I I mean you th we think the, the electricity should come out of property maintenance? No. I don't really, I think it should be a separate line. Yeah. Even if I mean, maintenance even, is even maintenance. Even electricity is not maintenance. Even, even if you put it down as town hall electricity because of the yeah. fact that, or town hall power, so for the things like, you know, you, you, we could even expand the street lights account to include street lights in town hall for electricity because that's put what it all that's under one. And put it all under one. Okay. Which, which we would definitely recommend as well, but unfortunately that would be... So when we get over this, this we yeah, yeah. If we get over this, then we can do something. Right. That would be, then yeah. we have to work with Betty then to make sure she... She'd have to establish the account. Right. To make sure that she did it the way it was voted at town meeting. In fact, once I get a copy of that back, I'll start running the numbers for how much that is so far this year. What, that's the electric? Yeah. yeah. They're electric that's, that's, that's my next question. That. What's that, Paul? Oh, okay. Steve, you want to take this out of the reserve fund? Or you want to, that's what you need the money right, right now? That is requested right now. I would almost argue, look, I haven't had the conversation with Betty, but looking at this, I'm just saying, though, so I don't, I don't if it's an emergency, that's one thing. But we, in another month, we can take it out of other accounts because I, I would agree. With, I would agree with Beth that there shows a balance, expenses is in there too. a balance of almost 1,900. So, there's a balance. Of, there's a balance of thirty-six thousand dollars in there. Okay, and I know that thirty-five of it is supposed yeah. to be for. The, the septic, the septic right. which I don't have a problem with, we, we set that aside, but yeah, we're not going to run out of money next week in that account. Because another month, we can take it out of another account. Correct. You know right. what I mean? Then we don't have to hit the reserve fund. Right. By the way, Betty is the one that suggested Traveler. that we come to you for a transfer, you so money? that's why I did. Yeah, I'm giving them passing I would, I would almost recommend tabling this until someone can have a conversation on this board with Betty. I think you're right. Yeah, I like that idea. I'll, I'll, I can do that uh, next today. Yeah, I got one here. Terry, you got a copy of these? I'm gonna of, pass of what we're talking yeah. about. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. You're so. gonna be next. <clears throat> right now. Who needs a copy? I think we're all set. You have a okay, let's look at the uh, second uh, reserve got. request here. Is this the one I've got? It's Slutman Expenses and the Municipal Property. Does everybody have Slutman one too? Is it Slutman? Mm -hmm. Yes, I gave you that too because I was making copies. Yeah. It's going to be the next request. Okay, so the second one is for $1,500 and you have 230 left in the account, right? Mm -hmm. and, and, we, again, and we got bills right now that need to be paid, pronto? There's a, there's a, um, a bill from Stonebridge Press that has to be paid. And if you look again on that ledger, if you see there was quite a bit where we had the they had to advertise for the uh, hearings. And then we have a lot, quite a few stop fee payments that came out of Fortman's account, and that was 
due to um the money being taken yes yeah embezzled okay mm -hmm. so you had to pay the people Wait, certain the, people that the had fees the, yeah pay them back from, from the, the bank paying, isn't it it had to come out of our account how so. much how much was it a lot well you can look this yeah, one two I, three four several thousand Are you guys showing a different ending amount on that? I'm showing like 483. 224. I got 224 did on mine. Did you get this? I set this one off the wall. Yeah, because she just did it. She must have paid bills maybe last week or something. That one off the wall is from the end okay, of the Okay, so, so, right? so what else is in? Thank you. You're so you got, <laughs> you got the uh, Stonebridge Press for different, was that part of the negotiations with the cable? Okay, yeah, I believe it was cable. I know we also, um, in the past, we had we had the help wanted ads. We had to advertise. I mean, this is still in the in the town, and then you had the tree hearing too, right? In tree the fall. Hearing, correct. Okay, we have a hearing tomorrow night as well. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes, and, and they're pretty okay. expensive when you have to because they're long legal notices. We got a few back charges, huh? Mm -hmm. No, I'm just when to stop payments and all that We getting all that money back too, Steve? From the first yeah. day, right? Okay. Yeah. We're still in talks with the insurance company too. Yes, I don't yeah. know how the insurance company's going to deal because she actually pled out, and part of her plea was to pay back. So that's totally with the insurance company. Have we gotten? A, have we gotten? A, uh, have we gotten a check from our insurance company for the money? Not yet. No. Is that how it's going to work? I don't. Uh, if I was an insurance company, and based on the testimony that she provided, I wouldn't give a penny. But that's so we're still in limbo for the money then. Yeah. But the case is resolved, which is a good thing. Yes, but not for the money. Not for the money. And when are we going to find out about that? I think well, call would help. well, we I, I just talked to someone from their office last week. What happened is the agent we were dealing with since the beginning yep. doesn't no longer works there, so they turned it over to a new person. They have insinuated that they're you know that they are going to pay. It's just. You know they're they're still collecting. Um, as a matter of fact, before he left, they were just about ready to send us a check. And then what happened is, I called back and I hadn't heard from him in a couple of weeks. I called back and he's no longer there. And now I just submitted two more items. I faxed them over last week because I had something from um, school that was discovered later, and also um, some more figures from the tax collector. How it's, much, in the, it's in the works. How much of a check are we getting? It's uh, in the works. How much of a check is the town going to get? Do you know? <laughs> well, it was 40 something last I heard. And I don't, yeah, it could be more, I don't know. Because it's, that was that was the initial <clears throat> amount, and then we've added to that. So yeah. I don't have. And, a, and then usually case. the way it would work is that unless there was some reason for them to deny the claim, they would pay the claim, but then if we received any monies back from the individual, then that would go to the insurance company. So I'm assuming it's going to stay in limbo for a little while longer. Okay. Where would that money go back in the general fund? It would be up to better. Okay. All right, so let's just talk about this reserve fund, keep things moving here. The 1500 on the second what's, reserve. What's the 1500 based off of? Well, it was a figure I, um, just I worked it out with Betty, <clears throat> and that's what it came out to, basically. Just to get what bills we expect to get in and what bills that we have that already have to be paid. It's just an estimate. I'm not sure if it's going to cover the whole thing or not, but that's what Betty suggested, and that's the figure we came to. Okay. Do you know what the like big chunks of the 1500 consist of? The public, public hearing, the cable. Well, like, yeah, we have, we have. A, I want to say it's three hundred and something dollars alone just for the public, uh, the cable hearing bill. Okay. And we have another one that's uh, also has to be paid. Another Stonebridge Press, and that is, I want to say it's almost three hundred too. I'm not sure Betty has it. 
but the fifteen hundred, if, if we request it, I mean, if we approve it, that will get you through till the next fiscal year. I would say no. Based I on don't. I don't know. These are the four I'm seeing. The rest of us for what we have outstanding. Oh no. Well, I don't think totally outstanding. I think it was an estimate. It, it will get get us through for the time being. Betty didn't say <coughs> it would take us through the rest of the fiscal year. So we may still have to do municipal transfers. Yeah, she, you, she may be just planning that off of covering them until yeah. they're eligible for I, municipal I, I think And that's that, another I think month, that's right? What she meant. Yeah. Which is the beauty of it. Right. So, Okay. So yeah, I mean, I would support the fifteen hundred for this, given too. that there's at least there's at least what six hundred and sixty in bills out there just for the paper alone. I think so. Yes. Everybody understand what the fifteen hundred's for now? Mm -hmm. All the humans and advertising and a few help wanting too. Yeah. Okay, someone want to make a motion to accept it then? I'll make a motion to uh, approve the transfer of fifteen hundred dollars from the reserve account to the selectman's expense account. I'll second it. We're all in favor. Aye. Okay, that's a vote. I think the one of the things we really need and to I'll do check with Betty on the other. is come up with a secondary form, a second page to this, to have people list like the primary pieces of what it's going to apply to, you know, even if it's just estimates. What to even include estimates of rates? Right. It include any any outstanding invoices plus estimates. Should be more than just a couple lines. Yeah. I think we sent out a memo to that effect last year, but everyone's ignored it. <coughs> oh, there we go. And I'll see on this. All right, let's get back to your budget, Steve. Any questions? I'm looking. All right, what do you got in line 40? Is that going to be you were looking to um, give the clerk an increase on line 40? Is that true or not true? Yes, and what it is, and when I spoke to you today, David, yep. she, she makes $12 an hour now. That would bring her up to 13 Not a lot. She's not going to lunch. She's going to $12. What did she start out with like when we hired she her? She started off at 12 and Was she given any... No. At review, we did not increase her pay, and the same with the janitor. We didn't increase his Did pay. you promise her any money in, you know, when you hired her that you'd get so much she, she claims we did. I don't recall that we did, <coughs> but we did. She's definitely an asset, and she's she's found okay. enough money in there just to cover that alone. And she's only working 15 hours or less, basically even only about <coughs> 10 or 10 to 14 hours a week she's been working now because she has another job. Okay. And as far as I'm concerned, she's working 13. She's definitely an asset for the time work. Now, is that 13, is that represented already in this line, on line 40? Yeah, um, on line what do you 40, got? yes. 10, 10, 140. The 10, 140 represents that dollar an hour raise, yes. Okay. So, Mr. Kafwa, you said that you you, uh, you feel unequivocally that she's quote unquote worth that money. It, it, are we defining worth that money for any of the other town employees at this point? Uh, just within our budget. We took out the um, treasurer's clerk, made it part of her own budget, so we don't have that conversation. Um, within the scope of what we oversee, the janitor definitely is a huge asset, and this club is a huge asset as well. What's the janitor at right now? Eleven dollars an hour, and um, we want to get him twelve dollars an hour, and he's going to start working on Fridays since the town hall is open on Fridays. <clears throat> do you think we? Do you think he needs to come in on Fridays? A absolutely, because what happens is if there's food or whatnot until from Thursday, I mean, it's, you come in on Friday, and yeah. And especially, oh, yeah, the trash cans. yeah, yeah, and even in the winter, you know, uh -huh. especially in the winter, we came in. I mean, you because he does such a good job, you know, he does. When when he's not here, you really know. Fridays, it was, you know, the hallway was looking pretty bad. I think we can definitely use him. I mean, I think everybody sitting here probably has noticed how great the town hall works and looks. And I'm going to tell you, he must wash that floor three times a day. He's going to take the wax off. He is Maybe just. 
I've never <laughs> seen him not busy, quite honestly. He, he worked very hard. He was making um, $11 an hour. I don't have, I mean, I myself don't have a problem with that. But what happens when he has to go over to the new police station and there's going to be more work over there than there is in this old one? Is he still going to, you know, how, how are you going to? He's getting paid by the hour. That will be a discussion by the board. Okay. I, and we honestly haven't had the discussion about Fridays yet. Oh, yeah, okay. okay. So you're speculating on Fridays then? You're just, you're, that's what you want to We have had a conversation about Fridays. We approved the Friday? Yes. Okay. So, so maybe part of Fridays would he would go over to the new police station too. I mean, yes, he could do that. Mm -hmm. But he won't be okay. But and he's already his, he has he enough to do on Fridays hours. right now. Yes, and he's already working twenty mm -hmm. hours, so it's not like it puts him into another category where you have to right. pay for benefits or not. And I don't even think he doesn't even take advantage of the health insurance. Well, what's he? Uh, what? How many hours is he working now? Twenty hours. It would bring him to twenty-five. He only works five hours a day. Okay, so now, but now, now he's not going to be a part time. Now he will be el eligible for benefits. He already is. His work, he already is at twenty hours. 20, he's already eligible. Oh, that's right. Okay. But he's not taking advantage of it. He already has health insurance, so he doesn't okay. need it. All right. Yeah, because that's state law. Twenty hours or greater for full year employment is uh, requires that you pay benefits. So I guess okay. we're in the, is there, is there anything called out just so that there's clarity for, for other department heads if they feel that, that there hasn't been appropriate adjustments? Where, where do we give any type of policy or guidance or guidelines about how to use the step in and, uh, and grade wage schedule? Because I'm presuming, do you know what step and grade both of these individuals are currently? No, I don't. We did. We did figure it out. I just don't have it with me. No, I don't know right that now. Would be something that, that would have been mm -hmm. nice to have had for this conversation to be a little more prepared. <coughs> um, I had a copy of the town bylaws on this. So honestly, with him, it's kind of. I'm sure you'll agree. Kind of common sense because. He's making eleven dollars an hour, but honestly, if you were in this town hall and saw that he doesn't stop, I, I, you know, no, I, am, I, know. I am in no way disputing. Oh no, I know. Yeah, I'm just justifying. That's, 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 just, that's not yeah. the conversation. The that's conversation the is there are there are other people who I'm sure feel that they work just as hard, okay, who you know have been working for the town a short period of time, long period of time, doesn't matter. What? provision are we allowing that type of a raise under I guess is what I'm, I'm you're talking about raises right right what? because because at, at the it's end of the day the once we get once we get to the end of this process and we have all the other costs and all the other expenses in we're going to be having to look the rest of the town employees in the eye and say you know what love you buddy you're working really hard here's your 45 cent raise an hour okay or, or whatever it comes out to be um, so I just want to make certain that there's some mechanism in place, whether it's that you're choosing to move them up a grade because of their performance, whether it's based on, it sounds like there were some negotiations that went on in the initial hiring of the municipal clerk that perhaps there was some lack of clarity around. And, and if nothing else, if we're going to honor what they feel is an oral contract, then what we need to do is, is perhaps develop a, an onboarding checklist where we clarify whether or not any other salary guarantees have been made at the time of hire. Okay, that there's, it, it just begs a lot of questions about procedures and equity that I know that the Board of Selectmen have been acting as their own personnel board. I know that you made the statement at, at one of the meetings, Mr. Comfla, that Ms. Lincoln is acting as a as a personnel committee unto herself are these some of the issues that have been addressed or you intend to address in the near future to ensure that we have a coherent personnel policy regarding things like you know you know at each year reviewing step and grade every, every wage authorization that comes before the board one day does that 
before. That's us. different than having a proactive policy that states what can and can come in front well, of that the, board. The policy is a wage authorization that gets signed every year for the budget. This is what we're presenting, and we have to sign that wage authorization for next year's budget as well. As far as I'm concerned, in this discussion with this with the uh, with the janitor, he's actually below what the previous janitor was. But that falls into step. Right, but how many? Well. How many? Yeah, but how many years did the previous janitor have? I don't know. He didn't have that many fuel. Okay. So. He, and by the way, Paul did work at Tin Tassel for seven. Years. Oh yeah, Paul's very experienced at what he does. So, so custodian is grade three, and he's currently. I don't. I mean, I don't see a problem. I've, I've seen him working here. We don't want to lose him. But Beth is correct. There should be equity and fairness. Uh, well, it, well right. and I'm just saying is that, and I don't even object if we do these provided out of this situation comes some better, first of all, better adherence for the long-term employees because, you know, to Barbara's, to, 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 to Barbara's, to Barbara's point a couple of times that there, is, there has been some, a lot of variation between what the town gives and what the school gives for raises. I mean, Part of that, that is problem. because of their step procedure that they actually follow. If you actually take a look at this, you know, people are supposed to go up, a, I think they're supposed to go up a grade like a full-timers a year, every year and, and, and part-timers, you know, um, every every other year. Are you but looking there's at overlap. That thing? Yeah, but there's overlap I between the two of them. I, I don't know that I am either. No way. Okay. That's why I don't think that's why it's not being followed. Well, well then, I, I then, argue, then we need I mean, to have some to a degree. I would argue that we are following. We've actually had meetings that we've, we've tabled wage authorization sheets to go back and follow them. Right. So. I mean, we got the same problem with, with the secretary of the police. They want to, they want to give her an increase. Right. So and he's supposed to come before you, your board, before we approve his, before you, we approve it. For what? We got some her pay increase? Yeah. As, as far as I'm concerned, it has nothing to do with the board selection. Like, that's on you. That's why we're here to present this letter. Oh, I thought you, I thought you were going to run. It was going to be run by you. The no. police budget? No, 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 not the budget, but the increase from one of the to get rid of substantial increase. The same thing here. That's, that's happening here. Yeah. As far as I'm concerned, one member of the board, that should come through this one. Not the board. See, that's, yeah. See, we need to get something, okay? I mean, we're here to defend our budget, not the police. Budget. No, no, no. That's not the point I'm making. Make, make the point I'm making is they want to give somebody a raise, and you know, everybody wants to do certain merit raises with certain people in the town. And there's no. I don't think there's any any claim like that's that. A, that's a policy decision. That's not a money decision necessarily. Because, because right. frankly, any of these raises it is not going to necessarily individually. And this is this is why I, I'm I'm trying to bring it back to the board of selectmen is that the, an individual raise here and there is not going to break an $8 million budget. Okay, long-term personnel policies, either because we aren't paying people enough and lose good people because of it, or we're paying yep. too much and, and give too many much money raises across the board and start having our, our salary expenses spiral we'll out get of control. Some kind of principle Those are <clears throat> policy issues. Yep. They are not the detailed financial decisions that this committee is responsible for. Those are policy decisions that you're well, supposed to go through the personnel board, Steve. So, in regards to her pay increase, someone, yeah, as far as I'm concerned, it's in next, next fiscal year, which is the charge of this committee to right. develop that budget, so that there's no wage authorization coming across our desk unless they want to do a pay increase mid year. No, no, that's not, no, okay, all right, that's I'm, I'm glad to hear that. All right, just. I just think there should be something, uh, some kind of a, a principle, something in place. My principle. I mean, is, who's is, who's is to say this person did, did give, deserves a merit raise and this person doesn't? My, my principle is that step and grade through wage authorization, and then the cola that the town votes on every year. Okay. Well, the cola is for everyone, so. Yeah. Well, I think that one of the things you really ought to take a look at is if you corrected this for the state minimum wage. Which hasn't been done yet. Okay, which hasn't been done yet for a while, actually, because it's not even up to the, I think it's... How is that going to all at, fit into this? Well, how it fits into this is that the the grade that's allowed for the custodian position is, is a grade three. I, I don't think... You, so, and how long has the custodian been with us? Half year. Okay. So he's not really eligible go to go to a step two, but if you adjust the grade three for the dollar an hour, I think that we're below the minimum wage at the start of our step in grade, 
you could conceivably take them to twelve dollars an hour and stay within the band for that second grade. Okay, but technically this needs corrected for that to be a valid did we buyer promise by him law. Did we promise him anything when we yeah. hired him? I honestly don't know that conversation. I wasn't here then. Because that would overrule. I mean, that would over. I don't think do the step and grade I don't for stars. Ever promised anybody an increase, except uh, our former administrative system. I think that was negotiating. Yeah. Well, to me, there's no promises in my system block. Oh, right now. But a handshake's always a handshake. You should have a contract or something. You know? What did you Okay. Do? All right. So we'll. All right. So again, that goes back to the hiring policies and an onboarding procedure and a written job description that you receive along with what the pay expectations are that should be part of the whole when you Package. bring people on board. Yeah. You're going to have the step and grade system, you should work with the step and grade system in the call. Okay, let's move on down the line here. Okay. So Karen, that's, so okay, so the, the Janet, that's already in the the janitor, yes. It's this, in this, there. Okay. this figure reflects that. Okay. Reflects the twenty-five hours and the uh, twelve dollars an hour. Right. Okay. That's fine. All right. That's line six sixty. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I just page three. You were talking about the municipal. Yeah, court. municipal clerk. clerk. Yeah. That reflects fifteen hours, and again. She can only work up to 15 hours. That's what was voted on. So it could very well be less than this because she, right now she's not working 15 hours a week. Right. Okay. More like 16 or 20 every two, uh, not even, yeah, 20 every two weeks. <coughs> We're only going to have one municipal court? Under our jurisdiction. Under their board, no. under the selectmen's board. And then who, who, Holly's a clerk too. Who now? Who is she? Treasurer. Treasurer. And who else? Uh, the the other girl clerk. Okay. Okay. Are you planning on putting a third clerk in underneath the tax collector? No. no not, well, we aren't the tax collector. I, from what I hear, she does not want a clerk. Okay. Yeah, we had that discussion with her. Yeah. All right. How about line ninety? What do you? What the website now? We take the town's <coughs> taking this back <coughs> over. <coughs> yes. Okay. What happened is I talked to Tom George, who was. A, a man who does the uh, Town of Barry's website mm -hmm. came very highly recommended and the figure he gave me was $1,200 that's for two years okay and the reason I'm reluctant to say 600 I thought you could do the 1200 and then not fund it next year if necessary is because that's 1200 but that's only about $200 for him in case we need to consult him or we need some help from him I mean, he was very generous in only saying $200 for two years. But I'm thinking, I mean, if we run into problems and it is a big turnover, so we could, I just wanted to make sure there was a little bit of a padding in there should we need to call on him so we wouldn't have to come back for more money. But mm -hmm. the 1200 does reflect two years, and that includes the, um, the fees, the hosting, and his aid his help and the board hasn't had a discussion on this yet but looking at that hearing that argument i'd even be comfortable with with a thousand mm -hmm. well that's up to you i mean <coughs> if you want to put a thousand in but this was a, the target this is one of the issues that we had that uh we mm -hmm. didn't know but i was thinking if you do 1200 then you can just not do anything next year but that's up to you That includes, by the way, the emails and the website. And any, any complications? So is he going to have to transition it out of the current software into something else? Or is that um, right now it as is? Right now we're using it as is. What he's doing is he was really busy, so he's going to come back again in the fall. He's going to leave it as is now and just, you know, transfer everything over, and he's going to be the um, coordinator of it administrator of it but then as of the fall he you know he has some plans on switching it up a bit and making it more user friendly and just you know improving the website and that's included in the twelve hundred dollars believe it or not it is pretty I know cheap. It's, well let me let me just let me backtrack a minute but what he's doing right now there was we got an estimate from him for four hundred dollars that we'd have to pay again I think that would have to come on a selectman's 
expense maybe uh, to, to get us through because we had a volunteer that worked for many years wonderful job that she did but I mean we could only ask her to do it for so long you know and so he uh, he we asked him it was uh, it was pretty quick he was kind of under the gun he agreed to help us and and that was the fee that he would charge us to change everything over and there were also I think I think the I want to say the email fee was in that too but this was already something that we had discussed previously not to come out of this budget okay Is that clear on that one, everybody? So there was a four hundred dollars that we a had four hundred they've already four hundred dollars to cover the transition day. period. Yes, and then the twelve hundred is still forward. Yeah, right. For the next two years. Not paid yet. Oh, so that's part of your fifteen hundred dollars then that you needed. So you want to leave it at a thousand or twelve hundred, Steve? What do you want to do? I'm okay with either. With which one? I'm okay with the thousand. Especially if the twelve hundred dollar quote was for two years, who it was, yeah. I mean, unbelievably so. I, I had to ask him twice because it sounded too good to be true, but that's what he said, and it's okay. And an he's okay with it coming six hundred dollars a year, or however you plan on doing it. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so are we going with a thousand or twelve hundred? Thousand. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're minus two hundred so far. Okay, you're putting in the audit for sixteen thousand, Steve. Same as that was the same as last year. So Betty suggested. Okay. Whose budget does that actually come out of? Is that a special line item? It's a line. It is a line okay. item on yeah on the regular ledger. I don't. Yeah. I don't have a problem with it. Mm -hmm. Let's know anyone else does. You guys can jump in with questions too. Mm -hmm. The consultant's going to be a moving target on the floor as well. You want to be ready for that one. Why is that, Steve? Because you never know what's out there for grants. I think you made that comment as well at the last, because there was a argument for funding that at the last time. Yeah, I'm a, I, I actually am struggling a little bit with it this year because for a couple of different reasons. One is on our schedule of expenditures and revenues. It showed that we only voted 5000 last year and every note that I have, including what the town clerk has, says that we voted 10. Um, and I don't think any expenditures have come out of that account yet. Well, I, I think the, um, the, so the uh, thermal grant came out of that, didn't it? Like this year's? Out of that figure. Yeah, how much was that? Yeah. Um, I thought it was like 5000 It was five, Well, we, was we got a grant, yeah. We, we got a grant. We did get a grant. But and it only paid for half, didn't it? I want to say it paid for uh, thirty-seven fifty, but we paid twelve fifty. That would have come out of this. Well, we have it under the clean energy grant. That's what you put it under. I think the. Um, it I, I, you know what I think came out of this is um, Mr. Scanlon's fees. Well, well that is what comes out of there generally right, right. is Mr. Scanlon's fees. That's a bad word, thermal. Well, <laughs> it was a grant to apply for. And it, it should have come out of this line item because it was a grant writer. Maybe it did. I don't know. I, I know it. it, be, it Betty had his clean, clean energy <laughs> plus account. Had, plus, yeah, she told me. Was it this fiscal measure. year where we had the town hall? There was a grant for that. Oh, that was last fiscal last year. Fiscal and according year. to the last variance report, at least that I have printed out here, it doesn't look like we spent. Too much out of it. Anything. Does it yeah. show so it almost so looks like the, the funds came out of some other line item if he has been paid anything because there's still 24000 sitting in consultant expenses right now. So we got to find out where that thermo. The clean energy. I know that the thermo. Where that money it, came out of. It was right? the clean energy. It was a clean energy uh, account. I know that's what it was paid out of. So it wasn't paid was out of this? So Beth, what are you recommending for this? Like half? I'm, no, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm okay with the money being there. I would just like to see it get used more efficiently. Yeah, I wouldn't go down on it though. Because uh, there's, there's the state just consolidated their grant website. I mean, there, there ought to be somebody, you know, who communicates to our grant writer what are some of the projects that we're trying to get done so that he can be a little more aggressive in finding us some, some funds. 
Well, that's that's part of this budget as well. Is there's a slated bathroom project where we could possibly get something from. Well, actually, I think the bigger issue is going after some of the bigger CBG monies for the larger well, we have portion to of this. Have the money to fund it. I just don't think the town would swallow that right now. I think the board had a discussion to do it piecemeal right now through that grant that uh, brought the plans for the upgraded town hall. That's what I heard you went piecemeal, yeah. And that was part of this, was that bathroom renovation, which is... That's the, underway, right? It's going to be... No, we, it's going it, to have to be next year because it'll right. be that we're proposing money for that. That's what I meant. And you can't apply for grants that you don't have money allocated for. Well, that's what I meant. It's, it's in the works, so we get something going for next year. Okay. So you're okay with the ten thousand, Beth? I'm curious as to why nothing that appears to have been taken out of the consultant expense account so far, where it appears that you have actually, and I seem to remember some money getting voted. I would agree. To to do that. So I, my one question before we approved another 10000 in there is what has been the expenditures and where are they reflected right now? That's a we'll have to ask that, that yeah. So before I'm comfortable voting that line, Karen and then the, the flip side is, is I know, I know Mr. Comfy, you say it's a moving target, but have you identified any grants that you would like to go after? I haven't identified, but like I said, the plan would be to go after grants for the bathroom renovation. Okay. And if there's anything in the future for police, but everyone's saying no. How about um, grants for um, biking and hiking trail trails to address the concerns brought to your board regarding the walkability in Brookfield? Are you asking me personally? Yes, I'm asking you I personally would, as would, the chair of the select board. I wouldn't be interested in applying for any of those grants because there's no money to back it up. <coughs> you have to have the money set aside for those projects before you can apply for them. That's part of the grant application. We have no money set aside for it. We don't even have any plans for it. If there's design structures, yes. Good. Got to start somewhere. So if the consultant identified funds, that grants, programs that were out there, then we could have the discussion with the townspeople about setting the money aside to pursue the grants. Because you know what, even if that you miss the cycle for that particular grant, it, they, they tend to be fairly repetitive. Things like the TIPS programs for uh, um, you know state funds for the roads, a lot of that stuff is fairly repetitive. So if, if you decide that there's something you want to pursue, you can at least put a plan together and In regards to that, that. Cindy's 100% on top of those. I'm just using it as an example. And I'm just stating that we're on top of it. If you brought up the example of trails and you asked me personally, I'm not in favor of it. I think we have more pressing issues in the town of Brookfield. Okay, that, then what that, are some of those that, pressing... That's the problem that's happened before. <laughs> I mean, it, with the grants and everything, I mean... And it happens with the matching grants. Mm -hmm. I mean, you've got to have some money. Oh, but absolutely. But it, it isn't always easy for us to put it aside if you watch the budgets as they go year by year. I mean, everybody wants everything. I'm painfully aware of that right wow. now. I'm keeping a running budget sheet of what mm. just some of the articles. And when everybody wants year. everything, right? You know, but how you much have left over from matching grants or. And but you have other stuff to that would help us start somewhere. Well, we <laughs> well, well, have to have at least some idea of what you might want to do. We have the ideas, but it's it's pie in the sky. You know, we have the brownfield with the property on Route Nine that we're still in negotiations with the treasurer. Uh, my You're in negotiations with the treasurer. We have to uh, decide if we want to obtain that property or not. Where it puts that in liability issues. You get the campground to be dealing with the campground. Well, well the, to me, the campground. Well, we're an executive session of the campground, so. Those are big issues there's always. There's still discussions on that. There's discussions on a lot of things, but unfortunately right. the bottom line is, is the dollars. Right. You know, we can't break the backs of the taxpayers that's, either. That's the bottom line. We're pretty close now. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone that sat in on that last meeting? How'd they make out in there? Not sure. Oh no. That they had a lot, I thought they had some room to trim, no? 
I, I, I won't present an override for 1.6 million on a police station in the town of Brookville. That's well, I won't. I won't go behind that. I won't go for that either. That's the rule. They, I think there's. They should have some room in there to trim. Okay, so let's talk about. Uh, so, Dave, you're going to ask Betty about the number on the grant item. Yes, I got it written down already. Line number 140, right? Yeah. Okay, done. Um, line 670, you went up. Uh, oh, 680. You went up. My, my second page is. Wait, are you still on the first page? What's that, the subject behind the town hall? Yeah. Six seventy, you said? Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. You went down, we budgeted forty five, but that was for the septic system, right? What was it thirty five we budgeted for the septic? Yeah, but I mean you had ten extra. No, you're not, you're well, we have we have issues with the um, this is property maintenance improvement. I think we put an additional ten in because the individual that was going to design it for a very minimum price um, basically says it's a conflict of interest. Okay, so we have to go out and um, have that paid for. We got quotes and I don't have them in front of me. I think we might have got three quotes. What were they, do you know? I don't know off the top of my head. I think Mr. Gobi was the lowest. 3,000. I want to say he was 3,000. And there was a recommendation from the chair of that committee to raise. And how is that going to work now? When are they going to make it? Is that, that committee from the police station going to do their own septic design down there? Oh, you're gonna have one joint septic system. Well, there was actually keep talking actually back two, and forth. There were two bids. One was for separate, and one actually brought in the fire department. If I mm -hmm. saw correctly. Mm -hmm. Well, they were all gonna tie in. Well, there was two. There were two separate prices. One for separate ones, and then one for right. Uh, and I'm not sure which one they're going with. <coughs> well, we allocated money at the mm -hmm. last year's town meeting for thirty-five. Five thousand. Thirty-five. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The, the recommendation of the chair of the police station building committee recommended that we put an additional ten in. Okay. So are they gonna separate the three or two or one? Well Betty That needs that I tell you what, here's here's really the smart way to address what you guys are talking about right now. There's thirty five thousand dollars sitting there right now in order to start do whatever the septic specifically plans. it was supposed to be the plans and the materials for replacing the cesspool that's servicing this building and the firehouse, correct? And the, and the police station. Well, well I understand that we were hoping to tie in the police station. The problem is, is giving the grade, and, and Bobby will speak to this probably better than I could, pumping it uphill doesn't make any sense from an expense or from, from well, a, no, that's a why functional they want to do perspective. It down there. I, I get that, okay? There's $35,000 there. If it's $3,000 to do a plan, that's $3,000. Honestly, you, you probably can the thirty-five thousand dollars was a rough estimate, and it was generous. Okay, that system, the system sufficient for this building, could probably be done for twenty-five-ish, given that we were going to be using our own internal labor and the materials. Well, a lot okay. of those prices, Beth, came from the individual that was going to do it internally. Okay. So we so, should have so, enough money. So, there. so, so, I think here's what we do: we put a warrant article on the warrant. By whenever it is we're doing the town meeting, we should one know how much we're paying for a plan, two be able to do do a costing on the bill of materials and start purchasing the materials, and then all we've got left is either we'll figure out we got enough money for labor, or we'll figure out we ain't got enough money for labor, and we can put that sum of money on the warrant article specific to the project. I don't think it's going to be a labor issue. I think it's going to be a material issue. Okay, well then, then for labor and materials, I, I don't care which. But what I'm saying is that is that we're not putting it in a loose budget line item. It needs to go in a warrant article this year, okay? And and it should be only for the delta of of once you've got the plan and once you've got you know a list of a bill of materials of what it's going to cost to buy the materials, then we can we if if there's going to be some overrun of that thirty five thousand dollars then we can address that at the town meeting under an article and not on a budgetary line item. Because it is a capital investment, it's where it belongs. If, if we have, but if we don't have that fixed cost, we should do something. So, so if I, you have I, the 15, you can always reduce that at I, the town meeting. I could kill us either way. Yes, yeah. <laughs> okay. If we're gonna take it to best level, I'd almost make an argument that the whole thing should have been put on a warrant article. 
so yeah. the whole septic should be paid. Well, it should have been, but it got taken off because everybody caved to Ms. Washburn's hissy fit about there not being a plan yet. And, and then the funds wouldn't have been available to try and, and beat the timeline for the police station. So. Well, that's why we put the 35 put in, in yet. Yeah. That's we, why we put it back in, because right. it didn't make any sense but to But everybody was in a hurry, they thought we were going to need the money, we didn't need it. Right. So. I'd say, say leave it the way it is. And then once, you, once you get the design system, you should be able to get an idea of what's going to cost you. Right. Which we don't have. Yeah. They don't have it yet, though. So we got to put something in, in the budget here for now. You can always put approve this, and then when when the night of the town meeting, we can just you can reduce this, amend it. Well, think actually, I'd, I'd really prefer to see because we're just kind of throwing dots in the air of yeah, where so, we're going. So, like for municipal property maintenance improvement, I would agree, but I think any town hall improvement needs to be pulled out of the budget, and that needs to be a warrant article. I think that's where I'm throwing my Town hall approval? No, yeah. you're, you're not, all right. So I know we were talking about the $15,000 line item, but what I'm saying is that town hall improvement, I, I, one, we need to Well, let's get finish. We're fin all right, so right. we're all so, set with line 670. Yeah, so with okay. 670, 15 is fine, although okay. if that money is there to pay National Grid with, that's the wrong answer. That needs to be right. split out into a utilities line for the town hall. We're gonna, so, we already discussed that. that so, yeah. right. Let's, all right, so you want to go on, so now we're going to be on line 680. We've got an increase there, Steve. That's for the bathroom. I don't have it for, is it 48,000 that Mr. Simpson bought? You did give us an image. Have we got estimates? Bill actually went and did everything. Right. It, it come, that's what you, yeah, no, that is what you needed. Bill, no, Bill, Bill, Bill did have, I thought it was in this packet, but Mr. Simpson actually went out and uh, got estimates for the proposed plan from the architect for that grant. I want to say it was 48. Well, it was. It was 48 or 48 something. Yeah. Okay. And that's part of this. 48. Eight. Yeah. Okay. Do you have it on that? I think we just said 50, mm -hmm. and then we mm -hmm. put another 10 in because we traditionally put 10. Um, right. Right. My, my plans for town hall maintenance right now, that tower needs to be repointed, and these bottom windows need to be done. Is the $10,000 going to cover that? That sounds pretty tight. <laughs> it does. Huh? It does. Well, what are you doing to the windows? Painting them? Or? It would be painting. Yeah. They did, yeah. But that would be the bottoms. But they could go another year, to be honest with you. They got stone windows, yeah. Right. The uppers definitely needed it. There was oh, no yeah. Money they don't have stone windows, windows up there, though, either. You can't. There. But I'm just saying that's why they went to help. The stone windows helps protect them. Well, so, all right, so you want to do 60? Is that, you want to stick, well, stick with that? That's the proposal of 50 for the bathroom and 10 to carry over our traditional okay. 10. I, I think you want to put 10 on that line and do a warrant article for 50. For a bathroom? Yes. I'm not opposed to that. Okay, and the and the reason is is that gives us the option. Anything we put on a budgetary line item, we have to pay out a raise and appropriate, which to use David's term means that we're putting it on the back of the taxpayer. It, there's at least the option, depending on how free cash comes back, of anything that's on a warrant article getting paid out of free cash. Just want to do that. I don't have a problem. So, can, so will, will you take back the responsibility to the do a warrant article yeah. for the? Can you remind us of any of warrant an article for fifty thousand? Okay. Fifty. Yeah. So we keep that in Did you get more than one quote for that fifty? Or I don't know. I don't know. What, what, what are you proposing? Two bathrooms? Uh, it'd be one bathroom with the um, scope of the design. And obviously, we'd have to go up a bit for that. Well, I, I realize that. Only one bathroom? For downstairs. The plan includes the second story, which would have bathrooms as well. That's a long term of this building. Right, but I'm talking about right now. First floor, you're not going to split it. What do you think? Is it a unisex or is it going to be a male and female bathroom? It would be unisex, but it would bring, it would bring up the ADA compliance. I'm not too keen on that unisex, which is the issue. We need to get away from that. Yeah, but it'd be a locking door. <laughs> and this you gonna supply the lock? <laughs> no, I'll, wait, I'll tell you what, it's pretty humbling when someone walks in on you. No, it is. I mean, just, I mean, I don't know. If this, if this is 2015 and we're still doing unisex and public but it's a whole building. Do you want to put two bathrooms down here and double, Can you? double the money? We're going to lose office space. It's just. This is all. I don't know. I haven't seen the plan. I'm just asking. That's, that's what it's predicated on. I'm that. just asking. You know. Okay. I'm just 
saying that's the standard when you walk into an establishment that only has one restroom. What we don't have on that door right now is a lock. Well, we do, but it's <laughs> kind of fickle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I mean, well, I'm not opposing the, the 50000 for the bathroom, but I, th I thought it was being proposed for two myself. That's, that's what I thought. Town report was 710. <laughs> <coughs> what do you say? The, the, the oh. Yeah. Do you have that? Yeah, right here. Yeah. 1800? Yeah. Okay. That's the same. And we're gonna do the municipal heating fuel, just keep it around the same. I'm gonna keep it, it the same. Even back though, and yeah, forth. yeah, you're right. Okay. It does, especially right. the oil. Okay. All right. So general insurance. insurance. Now, general insurance. I, I did go up to 140 as a suggestion, because that's because of the deductibles. We don't want to run into the same problem we had last time. You know, we want to be able to have each each individual. There's a thousand dollar deductible for each person, each accident. So this will allow so, for so rising costs and the deductibles. So do we have? First of all, do we have a quote back on the general insurance estimates? We did. Well, we we the, asked the insurance mm -hmm. committee brought back their proposals. There was an increase in was it premiums? Well, that's for the that's, that's for the, the health care. That's right. different. Yeah. It's we'll get into that when we get to the treasurer. Yeah, the right? general insurance. Well, we asked Mr. Oh, going off a bid? Not going off a bid. Well, we didn't because um, the two other companies that we requested on the last year when we went off a bid denied us because they the, the town hall and the library we basically exempted the um, any loss for mm -hmm. both buildings because we don't have smoke detectors. Um, Scott Mansfield Tantasca was actually in the process of getting us um, stamp plans. Peter needs approved plans before they can do anything in this building, which would bring this building up to spec. And then our plan would be to go, that would put us in a position to go out for a really good bid in the next fiscal year. And Larry is supposed to get back to us with the price anyway, which I haven't gotten yet. So, so. That, that number could change. Are mm -hmm. we still dealing with the same insurance agency? Yes. Yes, yes we are. Because there's, there's only three underwriters for municipal insurance in the state of Massachusetts and like they said two of them no bid us right so um, I question though the pen pending what comes back for that what's the average number of incidents we've had per year over the last three mm -hmm. to four years I, I couldn't tell you because I've only been here several months and I know there's been probably one two three four since I've been here so is that information that you could get from the insurance company? I could get it. Yeah. Well, the treasurer should get it for us. Oh, okay. Oh, well, okay. whomever. If, okay. if Do you want me to get it for him? Yeah. Let's find out. It's more than four. I can tell you that, Cameron. Well, <laughs> I'm, say, I'm saying just since, since I've no, been no, here. No, no, I know. I know. I'm oh, just, yeah. I'm no, sure, I, sure I understand that. I'm just making a remark. Like so. But two, yeah. two of those were from last fiscal year. Right. We're already, yeah, from the last fiscal year. But let's see. How many years back are we going to go? Three? You usually use a five-year trend. So... Just to make because the then, because then, the what we're doing is instead of just just throwing money at the wall with the deductibles, we take a look at you know what's our our top year, see mm -hmm. what's what's okay. driving our claims, and then. Are you talking building or personal? Yes. Which one? Both. Okay. Property and personal. Yeah, property and personal. And if she can't get you those mm -hmm. realistic numbers, just have Karen reach out to Larry. That might be easier doing it that well, way. Well, that's why I was asking Karen. The question was just asking. You want to, Okay, you're going to ask that, Karen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he could touch that right up in two years. Yeah, yeah, just just the number of incidents. I put like I number of incidents you want. Itemize each year. Yeah. Itemize each year and break it down With between. Figures too. Well, I, we don't need the full figures. Just, okay, just, number just, just the number of incidents, personal and. Uh, but and just break it down between basically. personal and. Yeah. Property. And property. Okay. Yeah. That includes vehicles too. Yeah. Okay. 
All right, because it's going to be a lot harder for the treasurer to find that than it's yeah, going to be for the He can the punch agent. that right up on his computer. That's what we pay him for, right? Exactly. Yeah. Two seconds. Make him earn a little bit of his money. Okay. Anybody using the physical exam? 800 bucks, Steve? That's just, that's for new employees? And if we're not using it, why aren't we? Yeah, no, we should, keep, we should keep something in there, though, I think. I think that's the argument every year is that we never use it and want to keep it. Well, well aren't I think, people I think supposed to get there, there may be a state law that says that you have to have that money there. I'm not 100% sure. It's one of the things I need to look into. Well, um, aren't you supposed to be uh, having physical exams when you hire somebody? But I think the only ones that do that is like the highway department. Highway. How about the well, fire everybody, department? Well, everybody should be, quite frankly. So, um, so it's 800 bucks. I mean, I'm just throwing it out there so you guys can do whatever you want. Sorry, what line is that? It's not going to um, break the budget. Uh, physical 60, line 60. It, it might it might be good to consider because other towns do, it doesn't matter whether you're going to be a custodian or a, or a truck driver, they do do a, a medical exam. Um, Absolutely. And uh, just like, not, not to be funny, I couldn't go get a job at Walmart without at least getting the drug screen. And that might have avoided some of the issues we've had in the past. You're not putting any money into the Crowley Street house, Steve? <laughs> yes. so, so well, that's your job now. <laughs> someone, someone took that away. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. Oh, and the CMRP assessment, that's 879. Betty said to fund it for 880 on that last page. And there's the attachment. I don't see why she wants a 50 cent buffer in that account. I think she has to <laughs> check around it off. <laughs> yeah. She hates. I was being. She, yeah, I she was, hates decimal points. I was being sarcastic. Mm -hmm. she was, she was it was a joke, people. people. <laughs> it's a joke. Who asked for that go up? Uh, well, it's actually the CMRPC. It's attached. The, okay. It's uh, our assessment change. So it's eight hundred and eighty dollars. We All voted right, that one last Anyone else have any more actually. questions? Because it was on the planning board paperwork as well. Carol, Beth, Barbara, Bob, any more questions? Okay, so now we so got to adjust. We got to adjust the. So you want yeah. So Steve, we're going to take out the. I finally took it off the other one. Fifty thousand okay. on your. Yeah. Town hall improvement. Third to article. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to deduct that from this right now, mm -hmm. and then we're going to deduct two hundred more off of this. Oh, legal expenses. We didn't talk about. Oh that. yeah, that's right. Yeah. What was it? Forty-eight. Now it's fifty. Yeah. Oh, it's on the first. First page. Okay, what it is, actually, I just got the phone with Pat Cantor. She suggested 55, and I wrote a note to you. She said we are going to need, from now until the end of the fiscal year, another $20,000 because there are three suits. Ten, and ten, tentatively, I had the discussion with her last okay, week. Okay, tentatively, but she said if they all go if, to court. If they all go to court. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean you're going to get billed right away. We'll be in this fiscal so the next fiscal year, you're going to need that much more? At the end of, till the end no, of the Actually, fiscal what they're year. saying is yeah. that we're, they're going to need another $6,000 in legal fees. How much is in there now? Or how much is left? Do we know? Well, they had 50 according to this sheet. <coughs> they spent 35 the so 36 on us. The conversation was if we, if we stalled litigation, if we went into it, we want to stall it into next fiscal year and put more money into that to cover it. And that's what we're doing now. It's not in this budget because we didn't have that discussion as a board. Okay. Uh, because we talked about the budget before I had the conversation with Pat before we've had a meeting. Okay. Um, I personally, there are executive session issues. I don't know where I stand. I don't know if we're going to settle. Okay. So what do you want to do here so we get your budget uh, underway? I, she had the most recent conversation with her. She said 55. She said 55 for the sake of this budget, but she said we're going to need another 20 for the end of this fiscal year if everything if everything goes to... to I, I, when you say another 20, another 20 from where our billing is currently or another 20 on top, on of, top the of the 50 that, that we've budgeted? What's not, not counting the 50, right. So you're talking uh, 70. So, so She's we need, saying we're going to need 20. 
We're going to need another, t what, what do we have left in there now? Well, well currently you have about $14,000 left in there. So are you saying you need an additional six? Or yeah. are you saying that you we're need? Gonna, yes, we're going to need 20 from now to the end of the fiscal year. So that's six. 20. So that's six. So that's well, we do have that some outstanding can... bills that we have at least a few thousand that have to be paid. That haven't been paid. But if, if, they, if it does come to fruition where the cases go forward, the billing cycle, we could theoretically go with a transfer. Right. Municipal. So, yeah. so, so I think that's one. And again, and we've, we've spent a lot of the reserve fund for veterans, but we will have a little bit left. But we're going to have the municipal transfers as well. So we should, ought to have something left in, in the heating down? fuel yeah. the way that this year is going. No, the municipal, what do we have? Who's that one now? Uh, Pat Camper suggested 55 for, for next budget. No, the municipal, we could take money out of the municipal. Right. Yeah. No, I, I understand that. I'm just saying is well, I don't 20. Which one? Minus what we have. If we don't have to do this, what's this one? This one I haven't used at all. But like you said, I'm supposed to try. Not all. The municipal clerk's got what nineteen thousand in it, so I mean you could transfer money out of that in another month. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of and that's okay. And traditionally, that's what Betty and I do. Okay. In, in the administrative so we don't need down. we don't want to jack this thing up way up, do you? What? We want to go to fifty five then. Well, let's be for next, for next year. year. Well, I understand, I understand that. What is what are we requesting though? There's fifty five no for next year, and well, Pat just said in the conversation. We're going to need approximately 20, he said, for the end of this fiscal year. Right, the, 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 the board voted to level fund it at 50, correct? And Pat's recommending another 5,000? Yes, she's recommending another 5,000. Which, which I'm okay with personally. And then that moving target, if it goes to court or not, I think we could do some municipal transfers. Right. Yeah, what do you get, 19,000? Either, either that yeah. or we could budget it at 50 and do a little root cause analysis on why we wind up in so much litigation. We try to have less litigation But that's, 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 that's what we do in executive session all Several the time. Thousand. Trust me, those way, those conversations occur. <coughs> okay. Unfortunately, you have to go to court sometimes. Oh, yeah? All right, so line 440, that's we're going to go from about. 50 to 55, correct? Correct. Is that what you're proposing? Okay. All right. Which line is this changing? 440. 440. There's no number in there currently. Okay. And we're saying fund at 55. Correct. So, Ken, did you add this up before on this so I can deduct it? I did not add it up. Right now it's seventy seven six sixty. Did you minus would you minus fifty two hundred and add and then uh, we added five thousand in? We took out no, what I did was I just I copied their numbers as submitted down the line and then oh what wait a second, I didn't get a couple of them. Hold on. You took fifty two thousand out and put five in, so what's well, hold on. Okay, so actually $83,010 is what I get total for Selectman budget. Now, so the, the wages include some raises, but not any type of merit increase? I personally would not be entertaining a conversation to increase if we're saying COLA merit, saying yeah, it, yeah I, I personally wouldn't add those two line items to a COLA. And we've traditionally... Well, merit and no, that's COLA. Not what I'm, no, that's not merit what my question is. Merit and COLA are two is. different things. Well, okay, so... so okay, let me put it this way. There's a there's a merit increase in this, but there's no COLA in this. No. Okay. Okay, got to keep it simple. That's fair. Why is there nothing in for telephone contract and leases? Have we figured out what that expense line is going to be? And does that only do phones, or is that also where the uh, internet access gets paid out of? 
That question's for Betty. I don't know that unless that was overlooked. Uh, all of us went through this too, and that did not get. Would like, they revamp the, the lease? They, they might have held back for a reason. I'm not sure. I can, can check you, into that. Yes, Betty mm -hmm. They were supposed to be revamping that or something. Like okay, that. maybe that's it. Maybe that's why. Can get back to Dave on yeah, that. Yeah, I'll get back to Dave on that. That's going to put a big wrench in the works. Okay, about as big as anyway. I don't think I think we should just we'll just table this and until we get that figure. Get some on answers, that. yeah. Yeah, there's a couple a couple questions out there. Okay. Good. Anyone else have any questions? All right. We're good. Thank, Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. You'll get back <laughs> to me right now. <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. Thank you. I think we went too tough on that. I'll be all right. I'll be all right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is an easy night, Steve. <laughs> okay, so we got to find out those couple answers before okay. we can even. Stunningly unprepared. Eight forty-seven. Where you got the? Four. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Almost six. Yeah, so he uses almost half a little bit. And and honestly, one thing I would recommend is that the town hall improvements should probably be a warrant article as well, so that say you only spend eight thousand of it in a year, which is unlikely but possible. That money should probably roll over year to year. And if we vote it as a warrant article instead of putting it as a budgetary line item, it automatically encumbers it for that use. And it can, in essence, act as a somewhat of a savings account to start building up some of the monies that we need doing. for Well, we shouldn't have matching. anything left. That money should be spent doing well, something. Well, it should yet. be spent, but I'm just saying. That's why I would, I would have a problem keeping it on a line item myself. But so. No. She's right. You don't think we should leave the lower? No. No. no, I'm just what I'm saying is we if we have money there, it should be put back into this building, it should be carried over. Right, but if the what I'm saying right, is that that way it frees them up to for schedule. Like if you don't get to it until July or August, it's okay. You know, it's the same reason why you do road reconstruction as a warrant article. It's the same reason why you do painting lines as a warrant article, so that you you we don't have any, they don't track. have any guaranteed what they're going to do year to year. Right. Yeah, we can discuss that. I guess I don't have a problem with that. Yeah, I just I as mean, long as it's on there. Oh, I think well, as long as it's on there and, and, and yeah. the money's being spent Appropriate on the town hall. Yeah, yeah, exactly. For crumbles. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. I'm not saying major overhauls. I'm just. No, I understand what you're saying. I, I still think that bathroom should be separated, but <laughs> I do. You're right. Huh? You're right. That's not. Yeah. Well, what you don't want to have is a urinal. I mean, people, people come from another town in here and we have a unisex bathroom. Think about that. I, I don't know any other place that it, has a probably, unisex. It probably does have room, right? There was a karaoke bar I used to go to. Yeah. Yeah. Lakewood that had a unisex bathroom. <laughs> there's, there's so many easy things they could do to have that into two. Jeff's office could be, they could put two little offices I mean, right just, here. Just to make it handicapped. It takes yeah. a lot of room. Yeah. I mean, if you have two, you're going to have to look at both. I just hope they're thinking it out before yeah. we, we're not going to do this twice. Yeah, That's how we do things here. We do things twice. To make a handicap doesn't, doesn't make it that hard. No. It takes no, a lot just, of room. Just square footage. Yeah, it does take a certain amount of square footage. And it's, you can do it without using a lot of square footage, too. What, handicap? Mm. I don't know about that. A lot of it depends <coughs> on your, uh, your doorway and just the space. 
Well, what's Eight. acceptable in a personal residence would <coughs> be really different from what's in code for municipal, possibly yeah. true. That's Wouldn't very true. Well, there is a difference, but it's not a big one. Right? Because well, okay. we had it for handicapped. Well, well, it's like a big one. Let's, uh, if I can find it, let's do the conservation. That's a quick, easy one. We want to deal with the snow and ice first. No, we'll, we'll do, do that after. We'll, we'll do we'll that right after the conservation. We've got eight minutes. Okay. Got my sights on All right. All right, where are we at? Where are we going? We'll go on to the conservation. Okay, so uh, I make a motion that we accept as submitted uh, $800 on line 540, uh, $400 on line 550. It's level funded from last year. It's the same. Yep. Piece of paperwork. Okay. Excuse me. I got it. You have it back. Anybody got any questions on it? Yeah, okay. Don't forget to sign your copy of this so that they have it. I already did. I gave it to them okay. already. Only on the 1500 though. Correct. I didn't sign the other one. Good. I gave it to Cameron already. Okay, so anybody have any questions of the Conservation Commission? Level funded. Level funded. Yeah. Clerk wages 800 and their expenses is 400. That's what? it. I'd like to second Beth's motion to accept. All in favor on that? Aye. Okay, that's a vote. All right, what's next? Snow and ice to get that done. Okay. to Betty last week one of her concerns was that when we vote this we need to take into consideration that with the melt that they do have some black ice issues that they still need to go out and deal with well, they're still for the next couple weeks. Yeah. That's what, yeah. So we've given, what did we get 75 and we voted 75. We, we voted, a, we have voted an extra 75. To so we basically have them up to 150. They're up to 150 right now. Right. Uh, currently, they have for expenses about 173, according to Betty. That leaves us around 24,000 in the whole 23. Yeah. Right now, 23 as of like whenever it was that she ran these numbers. Yeah. You got this, Brad? You got a copy? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's the one. Yeah. So we should go. So no, we're gonna. So gotta, so yeah. So you we also need to go a little more than that, though, right? Yeah. What I was gonna say is that we do need to go a little bit more than that because if they have any more, they're not gonna need any more materials. They just they just brought in a whole bunch of material. Um, not an inappropriate amount of material, but. They just they just got billed for like their last three material deliveries. That's why I brought the uh, detail that Cindy provided. 
Let's so see. there's a discrepancy between their two numbers, but. So it would just be labor then that we need to factor yeah, in? Mo mostly what we would have to deal with is labor because on uh, 310 they just got in like another 140 ton of salt. They shouldn't need a whole bunch more material. And they had uh, 226, they got in like 200 ton. Oh, that's salt also, so they're still bringing in some pretty good sized salt. How much do we have an estimate on what that's going to be in addition to the 23k that we're already in the hole? Uh, that's already that's that's, that's, already that's calculated. That's into in that figure. Okay, yeah. that's in it. Right. So we just so got to figure out the, how much how much more we want to we how much more we want to allocate to go over over budget again. I'd recommend at least 40 because 20 basically they're they're spent about 25 over right now. And I know there's some weather, I think, expected this week, isn't there? Possibly, yeah. So every week, every weekend there's something. Yeah. So that'll bring us up, if we do, well right now we're up at 175 then. Yeah. And then we're gonna, I don't know if I'd wanna go 40. Well, well, no, we're at 150, so 40 would take us to 190. I'm just adding a 25 and that's old. So right. bare bones is 175, but it's spent. Right, 175 is spent, and that's why I'm saying, so you're maybe, talking I'm another saying 15. about 15 for in case there's like, that's three to five out on the roads. And if we get a help, if we get an unexpected snowstorm, then we'll be up, we'll be behind the eight ball again. Right. Well, I might <coughs> we don't know that. We don't know that though. The public, when they can go down there and take it, how, how much are we? How I, much are we use this? I that? don't. He said know. 20 tons last night. Remember? He answered that question. I thought he said around 20 to 20 tons in a season. Yeah. Did he say somewhere around? Has he had to replenish that this year? Oh God! He did. They replenish it every week. Oh. When people are down there grabbing it. Yeah. Yeah, his 20 tons. Did he say 20 tons? I'm not sure. I don't remember 15 exactly. 15 to 20, I thought he said. Yeah, we but, asked but that that's question. for the season, though. He said that yeah, was his most. estimate for the season. Right. Yeah. He's in it, yeah. Why do, you, why do you ask that? I just know a lot of a lot of people have been using it. Yeah, I go down into it. A lot of people. Well, that's what it's for. It's for the people. That's what this whole thing is about. But there's been so much of the ice. Right. Drivers and stuff this yeah. year. Yeah. Yeah. It's been so long. Yep. Five. Unusual. That's why I was wondering if you had to have to go back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's uh, let's get the show on the road. You want to make a motion uh, for forty? Well, do you think I it should be? A, I don't think it needs to be fifty. What do you think it needs to be? Forty gives us an extra fifteen. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. I mean, we can always vote again, but I mean, it's not like they're going to spend it. Just she can go over it. Right. So. Allow him to. Huh? I said we're allowing him to. Well, when you take a look at that breakdown, one hundred and ten thousand dollars has been materials. You could come back and ask some more, and you might have enough. You know. Um. I like to get a breakdown of what it. Well, every snowstorm is different, but what an average. Well, you can kind of figure it out yeah, from this right. if you I wanted know, that's, to. That's a lot. That's if you're keeping, labor, if, if, you're keeping if you're keeping track of which storms we've had, you could probably I, I sort it out. Yeah. So. Um, I plow. That's how I know what. Hey, you know. Another thing. If you do, do some of the work that's done in the emergency. You're not going to work work instead of doing it on overtime. Well, he is he is doing months. some of it on regular hours. Yeah, they, we have they to came in out. and had that conversation <coughs> already. So, and anything that's on regular hours that's not an emergency operator, they're paying out of the regular high wage, wages account. We've had that which, conversation which, already. Right, which, right. Unfortunately, it seems to be every weekend that we're getting our snowstorms, so. Ten weekends in a row, they say. <laughs> that's just crazy. Ten. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just insane. So. Um, well, I don't, whatever you want to do, if you guys all want to do 50, it's, it's not like it's being spent, it's just there if they have to use it. Right. So, so it doesn't. So. Plus the 23, right? 
Yeah, we'll round that up to 25 plus, uh, right, that only gives us 15 if we do 40, right? So yeah. we're going to have an extra f 25, right, if we if we vote 50. Yeah, so I'll make, I'll make a motion for 50. Go another 50. You understand? Out, out of that 50, this 20, 23, 50. 468 is going to be out of that 50. Already. But so that's going to leave us 25. I think we should go with 15. And, and, uh, well, that's what you, you said you, earlier. Well, you 40. Can't, you yeah. can't go, yeah, you can't go 15. We've already spent 23. Well, that's 40. Okay. Right, that's 40. Right. Right, right, right. All right, so you want to sit, and so you want to amend it to 40? Go to 40, yeah. Okay, so I'll take that as Bobby making a motion and I'll second him at 40. How about that? Okay. All in favor? Right. Any further discussion? Okay. So they'll have 15,000 in the plus. If they need more, they can. We're here. Right? Yeah. Hopefully, we're done with materials and we don't get a freaking base snowstorm. Unless we get a freak storm. So. But they got enough materials for this year. Who wants to make a motion to go past nine? Ah, uh, I want to make a motion to adjourn. <laughs> what do we got left to do? What do we got left? Well, when are we, when are we going to meet next? We're not meeting this Thursday. We're going to meet next Monday. Okay. And then we want to meet next Thursday as well. Oh dear. Both of those are going to be very hard. So good luck with that. And I had really preferred to have been here for highway, and I think they're scheduled for that Monday. Yes. That's not good. And what do we got? What do we got? And the EMS is coming in on Thursday, not this Thursday. So, well, if we have to, if we have to have this discussion, I move that we go past nine. Yeah, I'll second it. All in favor? Yeah. All right, we're going past nine for a few minutes. I don't even know that I can come by telecon because I'm going to have a lot of requirements that are not necessarily under my control in the evenings where I'm going to be at. Really? Yep. So what date are we talking about? Six. Sixth and the uh, sixth and the twelfth. Sixth and the twelfth. Sixth and the ninth and the thirteenth. Or what? Six. Four six four. Oh, no, no. Six and the ninth. Yeah, sixth and the ninth. Yeah. Sixth and the ninth. That's as far as we want. So well, who we got left to do? EMS and the highway. Mm -hmm. Um, recreation. I'm just talking off the top of my head. So. And then we have to go back with the police and finalize them. Now that we know we can do that, uh, according to Steve on their secretary. And then we got to go back on the selectmen too. Yep. Which is not a big deal, like either one of them, but we still got to take the time to do it. <clears throat> And then we got to have a joint meeting with all the department heads, right? Yeah. Oh, and you know, no, but the they didn't one? give us, uh, besides, can you can you reach out to them, selectmen, that they also didn't give us street lights, which it's not on their tab, unfortunately. It's under Is it under electric? Safety. It's under, unfortunately, it's on the highway tab, but historically it's the selectmen that give us the. Yeah, that's what that I think Karen put bills. it in there. Didn't she say something? Didn't she say something about street lights, Beth? I heard I, I, well, Yeah, I had said something about street lights, but she hadn't filled out the amount. I think I moved it on there. Okay, page so let's so they find um, it. Did we get parking the the parking clerk information from Mike? Did I just forget to record it? No, we be, just talked about the cemetery. Yeah, that would be under the um, town clerk. Yeah, I didn't like that. He didn't bring that budget. The, the, what do you call it? That form. <laughs> hey, I was watching the tape too. I don't think we made a vote on something last week. Okay. I mean, we're all in agreement, and we then we I, was it the assessors or was it? I can't remember now. We got rattling on, and then we went right into the next thing because oh, who was before Phil? Animal control, wasn't it? Yeah, I don't think we I don't think we second. I don't think we voted to uh, animal control. That's what it I'll, was. Because Phil was over the emotion and me. Let's go, let's go, okay. and we moved right into him. I'll make a motion that we accept line one eighteen and one twenty, which is. Actually, no, we can't do the first one because that was salary. The reason why we didn't do it is I think we voted the $2,000 for the expenses. But we no, couldn't we, vote either the salary lines because we don't know what we're doing for COLA yet. Right. Yeah. And then we and then we have something we didn't know what she was going to do with if she got a second person to help her out. Or did we gonna I think we that? asked her to figure out what she wanted those wages to be at and come back to us. So let's just hold off on the vote then. Yep. I think All that's right. why I'll, we didn't I'll, vote I'll it. I'll give her a find out. I'll give her a ring. 
Yep. Which vote is this again? Animal control officer. So the street lights with Karen, I'll, I'll find out where that. Yeah. I thought you put that under the electric, no? Uh, no, we had said maybe we should put electric as a line item under that same area with street lights. Is Correct. What we had said. Yep. So, okay. And then I had asked her about the fact that she didn't have a uh, telephone on there. I got it's that down, substantive. yeah. Well, oh, she's going to check with Betty, she said. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm almost, I'm almost out of paper, so. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you want some? Yeah. <laughs> I've got another sheet or two. Let's I see if I, so I, let's, get a piece I really the, hope I don't need another okay. any more paper. I, I hope we can finish up. All right, so. <laughs> so. Okay, I think that's where we're at. Why don't we all take next week off? <laughs> that would push us back a ways. Don't give us some thought. I don't. I, I don't still want to get jammed up like last year. Well, we're we're well ahead of where we were last year. And That's not saying them, much, though. Can't compare it to last year. That's true. Very I don't think true. they. Had, I don't think they had put out the budget sheets until about six weeks ago last yeah. year. So. I'm running um, down getting the things printed the day before before so since, I get So mailed. since we're here, since we are still beyond nine uh, o'clock, that has have, have and since the speaking of deadlines actually, and uh, and ahead of last year. Um, th has everybody looked at the little bit that I wrote up for the annual time report? As far as what? To bring in some of these figures. I don't know, but I don't want to be waiting till the last minute. No. What, what's that, Beth? On the uh, I didn't. I the didn't... annual time report thing that I wrote up. Oh, you didn't give me a copy. You were going to help me do that. I did. I handed you a copy when I walked in here. No, not me. So the following week we've got two meetings too. Yes. We're not meeting this Thursday. It's a holy yeah. Thursday. I'm sorry. But so no, two meetings not the meeting. next two weeks. Right. Shame but the next two weeks we have two meetings, right? Did you get this? You didn't get one? Here. Here's another copy. I made a copy. Yes. The following week, yes. The next two weeks. Yeah. You've got the 69th, the 13th, and the 16th. That's right. Oh. Can we push the highway to the 16th? I'd rather be here when we have that conversation. Well, it took me a while to get them in here. I was going to say. <laughs> took me a while. Put up a hard time. On I'll give that some thought to. Depends on the weather. And the treasurer, we got to get her in here too. Mm -hmm. She was supposed to be in here tonight. Well, that's oh, that's why I had the selectman come in instead. Okay, they took they took us they took us. Oh, right? Yeah, that's yeah. So I got to I got to I got to schedule her. Well, we Wait, we need to schedule her, or she was included. No, no, no. I'm, I'm going to schedule her in. Okay. She was supposed to be here tonight, and I, she canceled, and I put the selectman in her slot. Okay, okay. How about Betty? Yeah, yeah I got her report. Uh, next meeting, we can go over hers. Is she coming in? She'd rather not. How I'm going yeah. to ask her again, yeah. That's why I already told her that. I told her I'd give her a ride here if she doesn't want to drive at night. But she's got to sit in the car with three dogs. <laughs> Don't you see Wait, you're one. two and you? No, three and me. <laughs> they're, they're good though. I've done that. No, they're good. They go all right in the back and sit. All right, anything else? Yeah, we really need Betty to come in. Okay, I agree. I agree. It'd be nice if she and the treasurer would come in together because I know the treasurer is getting. It it, I know the treasurer gets so a lot of her numbers from forth, Betty. Like we, it would be better. Last year we went back and forth. Yep. Yeah, it's better. We that would be here. that would be best. Maybe she'll come in if I if I okay. I'll propose that to her. Yeah, tell her that you mostly want her to support from the standpoint of the the treasurer's budget. 
Because a lot of then that they could debt, be, the debt Otherwise, we're going to be going and, back and forth, right? Yeah, because otherwise the debt service and questions and all that yeah, is going to be hard for the treasurer to answer. Yeah. Oh, and the selectmen also said they were going to, Cameron said, or, yeah, Cameron. Said, for town meeting. The Central Mass Regional Planning Commission, they voted that in, too. I'm sorry? The Central Massachusetts Regional Planning Commission? Yeah. They, they're going to keep that on board, too. Yeah. We did, but I mean, they, they said they're keeping it, too, so they Okay, just so everybody knows, the um, governor's pass at the cherry sheet would where, where uh, stand? Uh, put us that? at, what's that? I said, where do we stand? Uh, you know, I thought I had dropped that number in here and I didn't. I think it was, I remember looking at the number, I think it's probably like, it's like 70 or $100,000 more than what we got last year. At which sheet? The cherry sheet. The cherry sheet? Yeah. We're going to need that when the snow and ice comes off. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if I've got that. What? Uh, and you said it's 70000 over last year? Yeah. Any Ish. given date when we're going to know free cash? Betty's got it in with the DOI. They're working on it. Oh, yeah, I'm going to she we submitted it. So she, she submitted it. She, it, just it hasn't happened. come back from the DOI to approve it, but she did submit it last week, I think she said. Or it is submitted? It is submitted, yeah. And then I'll find out on the re cash, on the cash reconciliation where we stand on that, too. We should have asked Steve while we had him in here. I missed that opportunity. I can tell you two months ago they hadn't started on the year yet, but if DOR's got our uh, free cash, then they must have done something. To get to, to, to get to that point? Yeah. I moved it to the journal. I can't take any more notes. You did good. <laughs> Here, give me your, give me have your, let me have your phone number too. Okay. Sure it must be far off. <laughs> yeah. I got a list of things I got to ask. What's your phone number, Kara? Uh, 310, so we're adjourned, yeah. 528. Yeah. I'll second her adjournment motion. All in favor? I'm trying aye, to. Aye, aye, aye. Uh, 4007. What's the first three? Uh, 310. That was the 310. That's the first? Yeah, it's California cell phone. So it's 310, 528? 528, 4007. Yep. Okay, so that's a vote, we're adjourned. <laughs>